The bush of the Eastern Cape is home to many amazing creatures. One of the more secretive and beautiful is the Inyala. On the last episode of Zingela, we'll try to uncover a mature bull from the bush. The quest for an Inyala bull takes us to a stunningly beautiful piece of property that butts up to the Indian Ocean. And Christian is the trigger man. Hopefully gonna get Inyala this morning. We've been looking for one anyway, a new place, so good feeling a bit better after dying for about three, four days with this cold or African flu or whatever it is. So yeah, we're gonna be sad to leave here. It's been good, it's been a good time. After the Inyala today, big old swampy critter, they're sweet looking. And we're in an area that's supposed to have a lot of them. Inyala just by nature are kind of like that. That's and they don't hide their young. So that's why they're predated more. Predated quite quite a bit. Um, but just by nature. I've never really ever hunted wild wild Nyala. They don't move like Kudu would. Okay. Incredibly beautiful animals. Yeah, they are. I'm a soul. I've actually never shot one myself. Um, oh. but I'm going to later in the year. Nice. I'm trying to try and get one with a bow. Make sure you film the right animal this time. Not, not the emu. Impala? That's a nice ring. There's an impala on top and then there's a poor dog in that thick stuff. It's a very nice impala. It's a very nice impala. Of course it's got nothing on Danny's mad on it. We were about to be asked any bigger than Danny. <laughs> We're hunting a new property and we're looking for a nice big old Nyala bull for Christian. Saw a smaller one on the way in but still haven't found the one that we wanted. Hopefully we'll be seeing them soon. If Christian could keep quiet. Your stick spray doesn't work. Huh? Your tick spray doesn't work. That little one there, and there, and that, and those are pepper ticks. 
different angle into the trees and then work our way back to the truck and maybe cross and see what it's like on the back side of these hills. seen it by now we've had a good look at it you've yeah, been here a while yeah we had to work our way back to the truck for some find some more glassing areas yeah definitely have a look see what's behind on the other side of these hills move a little closer to the ocean see we've seen two small bulls and a bunch of cows um, the real secret of uh, just kind of hang out in the bush and feed out on the edge and so we've seen a lot of cows and a lot of ticks. Shitload of ticks, actually. Let's see which one on the left when it comes out. 
a little bit. Yeah. Yes. It's a good size. Want to take it? Well done. You got your double now. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, yeah, shoot that thing. Do you see him scratching his yeah, yeah. scratching his back on the tree? Fucking nuts. In tight on 30, 32 yards? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that Just... gold, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so much fun. Let's see what we've got. They look big. Yeah, they, they, they do. Yeah, they look big Man, and yeah, yeah. Both of them, they were chunky and they fucking cussed. You can tell they didn't like each other. No. And this is the bear one here. Yeah. I can't wait to see this. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, yeah, wow, wow, wow. That is cool. <laughs> Amazing. Look at the size of his body as well. Dude, look at this one compared to the last, the I first know. one. Look at that! Look at this. Oh, I love these things. I could shoot them all the time. Don't even yeah. my phone and there's two of them. Look at I couldn't even believe there was so many when he was there. Bam. Damn, look at that. Very nice. Oh God. And look at that on the inside. Oh. Drawled him, huh? Yeah. Well done. Yeah, it was just like, I would just keep going. It was too, honestly, too much fun. Oh. I would say the third one was about the same size as this one. That one's a little big, bit bigger. When he came out walking from the left, and I just, I saw the tusks and it's like, that's the one. <laughs> you did, you weren't even questioning. No. Uh, goodbye. Hello, hog. <laughs> you know I like my hogs. Oh my god. Ooh. I was. Look at the hair on him, man. Huh? I know. Yeah. Crazy. crazy. See that little That's hair. what I could see in there. Yeah. Both of their hairs were standing up. This little tail. <laughs> mm, see how they're rutting right now? Uh huh. See how that oily bit? Yeah. It's all like a scent gland type. Pigs were definitely still rutting. I was quite surprised. It kind of seemed like that one was a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Do you see how this one kind of yeah. scooted his butt around or maybe just didn't want to get... Yeah, get feasted. Yeah. Very well, nice pigs. Very aware of what's going on with each other kind of thing. Yeah, so they were they, they were minding each other a lot more than, you know, looking for hunters. They weren't really thinking about us at all. No, we were like 30 yards away. That's nuts. This is awesome. Couldn't have never, like... That is awesome. Yeah. Warthogs are just too much fun. You can never turn down a shot at one. Especially when the opportunity to shoot two trophies presents itself. Once we got those two pigs loaded up, we hike out looking for more in Yala.
up a little early, I think. Yeah. I was just excited to run after him. I don't know what I was thinking I was going to achieve, but it was fun. to the right when you look through the gap. He's chasing, he's right right behind that female. You can see he's smelling her so he's still writing. They're a bit further back than what I expected. Do you want to sneak down and get a bit closer? Yeah, probably. Okay, let's do that. Let's go down and come back up. So we just, I'm just, I mean the wind's good. Uh, but before it, I think that was a bigger one, but let's have a good look at the second one. To shoot the other one. No, no. <laughs> double, oh, double, one, double. One's enough for now. Now you double. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> Big crazy critter. It's a stunning animal. It, when it saw you, it was. <clears throat> yeah, it just. I shit myself, man. I was like, like, it's about to run. They do this funny walk where they. Did you see that when we were coming up? Yeah. Head down. One's kind of pointy forward and it's like this creeping almost. Yeah, it's like a meditation. I don't know. Oh, weird. Nice ivory tips on him. Beautiful shape. Mature bull. Good shot. Worked out well. Third animal in the last two, two hours. <laughs> Got a good pH. Good personal helper. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that shot as well. Look at that. This how long this ivory tips are? Damn. Oh yeah. That thing is sweet, huh? Yeah. Incredible, huh? Hard all the way to the bottom. So he stopped growing completely. And he was probably a little bit longer at one stage and he's just worn that way down. Yeah. But they're still <coughs> razor sharp. Good two, two and a half inches of white ivory there. Beautiful shape to him though. Well done. Oh, thank you so much. Honestly, it's been a pleasure. It was amazing. Look how beautiful these things are. Man, I love these things. Yeah. Good. Size of a mule deer? Roughly? Yeah. Mule deer buck, yeah. Yeah. Man, I love them. Thanks for a great morning. Thank you for a great week. Two weeks.
After that morning's Inyala hunt, we head to a new property, which is a stunning cattle ranch full of game. We see Oraby, a black impala, mountain reed buck, and many, many other critters. We look over a ton of country and just soak in this last evening that we have in South Africa. our last morning here in Africa. I'm gonna try to upgrade my warthog. It'll be a good capper. We're back in some uh, pretty mountainous country, really. Beautiful morning. All open country. Yeah. Really Good range. Gonna, really gonna miss doing this with you, bud. Yeah. It's been great having you guys here. Really, really enjoyed it. It's been a blast. The, the amount of animals you have is just incredible. It really is. And, and we've moved through a bit of the country <clears throat> looking at different species and stuff. I mean, they're not all in the same area. Yeah. It's, it's different vegetation, different, you know, some mountainous area, some flat land. And out here we've got these deep valleys. So this is perfect for warthog, bushback. Been seeing a lot of mountain reedback. And, and you've only really seen a small part of it. Yeah. I mean, there's like a hundred different areas that we can still go to and do different things. And like we talked about on your next trip, maybe do a real mountain hunt for Kudu. Yeah. Try and get a nice big games back and just have fun. Absolutely. It's been fun. It's kind of a sad morning. <laughs> it is. It is. Let's try and see if we can't upgrade your pig. Yeah, absolutely the one you gave back and said no take a take a double XL <laughs> man it's beautiful out here we fly out in the afternoon so we only had a few hours this morning to try and glass up a warthog so we head to a giant canyon to see if we can't turn one up Standing. It takes one animal, and it's normally a pig, to come to the water or monkeys. And once everything else seems that it's it's kind of okay, then that's when they move out. So they use the pig as a Get 
the other rifle? I told him to get the other rifle and bring my backpack because the ammo is in the backpack. Now it just comes with a backpack and leaves the fucking rifle. Why are we going to shoot? Fucking shoot this one. No, no, well, we can shoot it, but I mean, just in case we need to take a longer shot. I'm happy to shoot, I'm happy to shoot that one. We can even do it pro. Yeah, let's get it. I've got a pair of bipods in my backpack. We can dial it. I want to see you shooting in here. It's not big, but I mean, be fine. I don't like where it's moved out. This one's is 370. I'm only gonna run to the water hole now. It's just like hunting back home, shooting back mm -hmm. home, getting that nice rear rest, yeah. bipod. That's cool. And Those that's are the shots I love. That's what makes it cool out here. I mean, like you said, you'll definitely bring your bow next time. Yeah, 100%. We've got fantastic bow hunting. You know, we've got normal spot and stalk. We've got mountain hunting. We can hunt the flats. We can do long range hunting. And I mean, really, there are so many places out here. We, if, you're, if you're into long range hunting and you want to take six, 700 yard shots, there's like a million places out here to do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is sweet because we were glassing. We got this big valley. We're watching this pig and nothing else really coming out. And you're like, let's grab the other rifle. Got her dialed and... You drilled it. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Fantastic shooting. Well done. Thanks, man. I enjoyed it. It's been that. a hell of a week. It has. Been a hell of a week. It has. It has. I'm gonna miss you. No, I'm gonna miss you too. We'll get you out in the mountains. Yeah, take me bear hunting. Yeah, we'll go bear hunting. Take me bear hunting. It's a boar. It's a boar. Hey, I think it's bigger than my last one. Not much. It is. But it is bigger. Right in the lungs. Sweet. Perfect. God, they're freaking cool, aren't they? This is a sweet way to end. It is. The trip. Yeah. Long I shot. I'm glad we came out this morning. Yeah. Absolutely. Just definitely worth it. Not a monster by any means, but the hunt. The hunt and about. the shots and the setup and the everything was just perfect. Yeah, that's what it's about. Thanks, dude. You're Hell welcome. of a week. Thank uh, you it's been, so much. It's been great having you guys here. Really the trip of a lifetime, huh? Oh, sweet. Got it. Sweet. It's a nice picture. Fun hunt. Great hunt. That was awesome. Go back to America, I guess. Hunting trips like these mean a lot more than just killing animals. What you come away with is not only the experience of a lifetime, but friends that last a lifetime as well. Africa is one of the coolest places in the world. As Warren would say, the African bug bit me. I'll definitely be back.